Imagine a snake larger and stronger than the anaconda. A 15 meter giant slithering like an endless trail. Crushing its prey in its powerful coil and choking it to death. So fierce and powerful that it could hunt and kill crocodiles as well as the early whales. Well, this fearsome snake lived in India nearly 47 million years ago. The run of Kutch in the western Indian state of Gujarat, which today is a dry desert, was covered with steaming swarms in that era. And these giant snakes thrived in these marshy coastal habitats. Given their size and strength, they were undoubtedly the apex predator, easily bossing over all other creatures in the area. When scientists first discovered the fossils in a small village, they were amazed. The discovery brought to their mind the mythical king of snakes, Vasuki. According to Hindu mythology, Vasuki was a great devotee of Lord Shiva who always wore the snake around his neck. Vasuki was awarded this honor for his selfless service during the great churning of the ocean of milk. When gods and the demons used Vasuki as a churning rope to extract the nectar of immortality, So fittingly, when the scientists discovered a mighty snake on Indian soil, they named it Vasuki Indicus. Here was a discovery that truly stunned the world, and scientists are still trying to find out more about this magnificent creature. So let's try and understand a bit more about its origin and how this magnificent creature ended up in India. Exotic, elusive and dangerous, snakes have fascinated humankind for millennia. Slithering bodies, flickering tongues and a fearsome reputation has made them objects of fascination and fear throughout human history. They can be hard to find, yet more than 3,000 species of snakes have conquered almost every corner of the planet. They have slithered their way across oceans and all the continents save Antarctica. India has been a welcoming home for snakes for tens of millions of years and it continues to be so today. Fossil records show their presence in India since at least 66 million years ago and their survival and diversity continue today. The main reason may be that for a significant time period in its geological history, India has remained within the tropical zone, offering warm, stable and favourable conditions for snakes to flourish. But Vasuki is unlike any snake that ever lived on planet Earth. Stronger and more powerful than anything ever seen. In terms of size, it compares well with Titanoboa, 
discovered in a coal mine of Colombia in 2009. The Titan of Boa was believed to be 13 meters long and weighed well over a ton. Scientists believe Vasuki to be even larger than Titan of Boa. Based on the 27 vertebrae that have been discovered so far, Vasuki's long cylindrical body was nearly 15 meters long and around 44 centimeters wide. But how exactly did the discovery of Vasuki come about? Well, scientists accidentally stumbled upon these fossils. Noted Indian paleontologist Professor Sunil Bajpay was on an expedition to the Kutch region. He was on an excavation trip to the coal mines in the area looking for fossils of early whales when he stumbled upon some very unusual fossils. So during the course of these investigations, we came across a bunch of huge vertebrae that uh, initially we thought belonged to an extinct crocodile because of their large size and also because some of the diagnostic details were not visible at the time. That was in 2005 and Professor Bajpay forgot all about these fossils. The world would never have heard about this exciting discovery but for Providence. In 2023, Professor Bajpay and his student Debaji Datta decided to have another look at the vertebrae they had brought back from the coal mine. And we made detailed uh, comparisons with uh, other um, uh, large snakes and then we actually reached the conclusion that these fossils were not from a crocodile but from an enormous uh, snake. Um, we, we, we named it Basuki after the mythical serpent king uh, uh, Vasuki in, in, in the Hindu mythology. This was a very significant discovery indeed. It told scientists about the movement of animals on ancient Earth and how Earth's shifting continents influenced evolution. So when India collided with Asia around 50 million years ago, new land routes opened which allowed these snakes to move into North Africa via southern Eurasia. It's a dramatic example of how plate tectonics, that is the separation and collision of continents, directly shaped the movement and spread of animals. In addition, Vasuki also offered rare clues about ancient climate. As a cold-blooded reptile, its massive size was tied directly to the climate it lived in. By comparing Vasuki with today's longest snake, the reticulated python, we estimated that the tropics of the Middle Eocene, nearly 47 million years ago, had mean annual temperatures of about 28 degrees Celsius. In other words, Vasuki was a living thermometer of its time. What was the earth like in that period? Who were the other animals that lived alongside Vasuki? What did it eat? These are some questions that come to mind when we start to think about these fascinating creatures. Scientists believe that Vasuki were not sea snakes, though they lived on the coast among the swamps. As for the other inhabitants that might have lived on Earth during their time. We found fossils of uh, so many different kinds of um, animals, particularly sharks, rays, catfishes. We have turtle bones and carapaces. We have crocodilians, teeth, vertebrae. We have small sized aquatic snakes. And we even have very primitive whales from the same horizon. There are two species of whales that we have found, and Rusifius and Cachisitas. And these are very primitive whales. This suggests that Vasuki may have hunted such animals.
making it a top predator of its ecosystem. In other words, these giant snakes probably feasted on everything from large fish to reptiles and perhaps even early whales. Making the ancient seas and swamps of Western India a very dangerous place to be 47 million years ago. But how and when did these magnificent creatures disappear from the earth? It seems climate change was the culprit in this case too. It is believed that about 34 million years ago, Earth experienced significant global cooling. Since snakes are cold-blooded, their metabolism depended heavily on external temperatures. For a giant like Vasuki, maintaining such a massive body would have required constantly warm conditions. As global temperatures dropped, its metabolism would have slowed, which made its survival increasingly difficult. In short, climate change and particularly the cooling trend at the end of Eocene may have sealed the fate of this prehistoric giant. Just imagine if Vasuki were still around. How fascinating it would have been to watch this 15-meter creature glide through the steaming marshes of the modern world. <laughs>